you know, you hear it heard so often about the blocks to pleasure. And I like to focus on the positive and the negative. You know, as women, it's so hard for us to connect to our orgasm. Why? Right? We're disconnected from our bodies. The whole world is modeled on the male model of sexual response. So we don't understand what we need and how we need it. And I think it's also this belief that we're looking outward, Mm -hmm. right, for pleasure. And everything we need is right here. We are the source of our own pleasure. Oh, that is brilliant and so true, Caroline. So true. We need to be able to give ourselves pleasure. Um, you know, we've got it backwards. We're trying to find pleasure by giving pleasure, um, which of course is satisfactory too in a lot of ways, but we can't really truly give pleasure fully or receive pleasure fully until we're able to give ourselves pleasure. Self-pleasure is the source of self-love. Yes. You know, love comes from the inside out. Mm -hmm. When I read Betty's journals and her journey to become the great and terrible Betty Dodson, because she didn't start out like that. She was born in 1929. She came to New York City in 1950 in high heels, a pencil skirt, <laughs> and bleach blonde hair pulled back mm-hmm. in a chinois, you know, big difference. Mm-hmm. She really actively learned and, and, and figured out a way to connect to herself, to love herself. She figured out like the recipe to self-love. Mm-hmm. And for her, it was pleasure, prioritizing pleasure and connecting to that source connecting to orgasm. And I think it's true. I love partner sex, but the source of my Mm self-esteem is self-pleasure. One feeds the other. Yes. Yes. And, you know, it's kind of like, you know, if we're missing self-pleasure, it's, it's like a, a a two-legged stool, right? I mean, you know, it's, it's not going to be able, we're not going to be able to find that balance of giving and receiving. Exactly. I think unless we take for ourselves, like if I have dominion over my own body Mm -hmm. and I explore my body and I know my preferences and like that immediately now when I go into a sex act, Mm -hmm. I'm confident, right? right? I'm strong. I can state my pleasure. I can define a boundary. I can get kinky, right? Mm -hmm. I can play with the energy. And I think that's about getting active, Right. There are no inactive orgasms. Right. Right. And we are always responsible for our own orgasm. Um, You know, someone can assist me. A partner might assist me with my orgasm. But Mm -hmm. my orgasm is my own, just as a partner's orgasm is their own. Um, Yeah. So so we need to take ownership and responsibility for our own pleasure and orgasm. I think it's critical for equality. I think, you know, Betty and I really believed the third wave of feminism was sexual liberation for women because without sexual freedom, there's no sense of self, right? Mm -hmm. I'm free to touch my body. I'm free to explore my preferences. I'm free to connect to partners on my own terms in a way that's safe for me, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Because when I have high self-esteem, right, I'm going to be able to say yes and I'm going to be able to say no. Yes. Yes. And giving yourself pleasure raises your self-esteem. It's not going to come from the outside. Self-esteem never comes from the outside. It comes from the inside out. It's self-esteem, not other esteem. Yeah. Like compliments when someone thinks you're great, you get a little hit, but Mm -hmm. a kind of enduring self-esteem. I know who I am. It's Betty's concept of being self-full. Right. I know who I am. I know what I need. Not selfish, self-full. That's where we want to come from, a place of power, right? Because I know myself. I'm connected. I'm happy. I'm cycling these pleasure hormones on a regular basis. And now partner sex becomes a want and not Mm -hmm. a need. I really believe self-pleasure supports healthy relationships. Because no one wants you to come at them and like you are their end all be all all the time. It's too much pressure. Mm -hmm. 
I totally agree. And you can be more present in, in that partner relationship, no matter what you do, whether it's just like, you know, a fun, a fun round of sex <laughs> or, or a, a full relationship. You need to be centered and grounded in yourself and what brings you pleasure. And really the most feminist act you can do is to touch your body for your own pleasure. It shifts a belief system because we all kind of been conditioned to believe that we are not as good, that we are not worth it. So when we say, you know what? My body is for my pleasure. Mm -hmm. It's the biggest fuck you to the patriarchy you could ever pull off. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm prioritizing my pleasure. I come first.